In this video, I will be sharing with you how we can make the twist effect, and uh, and I've also given timestamps, so watch only the parts that you want to watch, and also a breakdown of how you can make your own from scratch. Okay, so first you have to download the file that I will be providing, and then you will have this one folder actually. Drag this, okay, to your Fusion composition, okay, and you have this macro, but to save it in your fusion you can do one thing is like come to show folder okay and then in fusion there is this macro okay save the save this file in the macro okay once you're done what will happen is it's already in the select toolbar right so now for the animations so this is uh actually very easy if you have this macro okay like making any twist effect it's very easy just connect them uh like connect your png or whatever media you have and once you add them up it's actually done so it gets the animation but it's a default animation you can also change it however you like you know i've given the first control and then there is transform and last one is motion blur okay now for the control guides okay um let's do that with the with the breakdown okay so first you have to add is actually okay let's take to this to media okay and we will do with this okay so add image plane 3d okay add another image plane 3d but we will not do that we will just do uh control shift v okay now in the transform uncheck this z bar okay uncheck the z like d instance it and make it to like 0 0.0001 okay and connect them up right so if we do that what will happen is like both the cards we have in in different uh it's flipped okay so but another problem that we have is the cards are actually opposite so to fix that we will add a transform right and flip it it's that easy right and if you want the other one to be flipped you can add another transform in this one too right but for me uh it doesn't really matter because it's just uh graphics right it doesn't really have any text so yeah now for the animation part right add a bender then add a transform add render so this is the basic node flow okay in the bender if you see we have the amount section the and the bender type we have bend taper and twist for now we'll do the twist right so on the zero frame make it a zero in 15 frame come here twist a bit and again on 30th frame we will make it zero again right so now we're having a twist like this now we will just give a rotation to get this effect okay so in transform add a keyframe in y rotation okay and then go to 30th frame the last frame that we had make it to minus 180 to give it a clockwise rotation and now we are having something like this okay now if you see the animation is already done and it's just so easy like compared to after effects i think it's much faster right i think so now for anim curves and i mean for curves okay make the curves like this i will give you like why this curve i'm doing it like this okay right now it's a linear so if i stretch the starting point to like this so what will happen is the rotation will happen after some frames so like you see it's it's curving after like four frames so like from here the animation is starting right so the first two three frames are like not really having any animation so because of that right it's like first is stretching it like the twist is actually stretching and then it's moving right like look at this you see now you know we can make many different things with it right we can add shear you know and shear uh, have this very cool thing you know now if you don't understand how bend works okay now i will explain it okay if you if you think you know all these things all the controls you can skip it the video is done okay now for beginners okay if you don't know anything about bender 3d right the bender like the amount okay this amount is actually the animation like if it's twist okay it will increase the twist okay this is the amount right and then there is axis okay so axis actually controls like this see there is 
y is it an x okay so if it's y you know the it's it's moving what the top one right the vertical right now if i do x okay it will do sideways you see like it's now it's doing sideways like like this now if i do z it will actually do nothing because it's a flat object right so if i make uh, like a tree a shape 3d and i will show you you can understand it let's see now as you can see here it's bending the z thing right so i think you're clear with the axis right now for the center so center is really cool thing yeah so center actually locks the locks the center like wherever it is like if it's in the middle it will lock the center okay like lock the center of the object and if it's one right uh, it will wait hold it. so if it's one it will actually do like it will hold the top portion it will like lock that top portion and whatever animation you do on that mount it will only move the bottom one right and as you guess if it's zero it will lock the bottom portion and it will just move that top portion so if you want to move both the top and the bottom you have to make it in the middle right so the middle one is now like um, locked in right so yeah and as you can see here like you, you think like this is actually uh crossing it but actually no if you see in a 3d you know if you see like you're actually seeing this thing like this but in reality it's still locked in right you see this portion so yeah last portion that arrange one okay so arrange uh, is actually like it, it creates a area like where you can where the animation will hit like how how much the animation can uh, work on the object right so if it's full it, it will uh, animate the whole object right like the whole area if we, if you reduce it the area will decrease of the animation so now if any animation you do it will just happen on the top portion and if you move it this side you know it will just give the animation the bottom one right so yep you can make really cool things with it you know if you want so uh, yeah and how I made this well you know I just added i just uh like uh, select all of them and then came to macro and everything for macro i will create another video okay so if you really want to learn how to make macros uh you can comment me down and i will make a video about it maybe yeah and i also made a number slider actually wait where is it so you know you can uh yeah it is really cool you know this this number slider you know i have this uh, all this you know so if you want uh this this comma you can turn it on or off and there is text you know if you want to take if you want any symbol on the at the end you can do with that you know so yeah so many things it's really cool i guess i mean yeah and you can make it gradient if you like this is for another video okay but i will be sharing this macro in my discord server so if you want it you can have it Yep, take care, I guess. Well, take care, all of you, okay?